Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you this epic farming strat for the new Dreaming City push rifle exclusive to the Corrupted Strike which is a must have people but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so the hose release is an exclusive weapon to the corrupted dreaming city strike available to get when the corrupted strike is one of the three weekly nightfalls you can choose to do luckily it's here this week people so we have a chance of getting this beast of a pulse to drop. Now before we get into this epic farming strat, let's take a quick look at this pulse rifle itself. We can see by this on screen now that it's the same archetype of the Grasp of Malak. Remember Omnigul's monster of a pulse? Yes, this fires just like that. Now if we compare this to the Claws of the Wolf Iron Banner pulse rifle of the same archetype, we can see it has better range, stability and mag size as standard. It also drops with random rolls offering the arc burn. And what I've seen people, it destroys in PvP. So it's a must have weapon for sure. Plus it looks cool and it's one for that collection too. Okay, so to farm this weapon, I highly recommend that first you set a high score of over 100,000 within the Corrupted Nightfall Strike. This has been confirmed by Bungie to increase drop chances of exclusive loot. So set a high score of 100 plus thousand. Here is the setup I suggest you use in doing this with your loadouts and Nightfall Challenge card. So firstly with your loadouts, in a team of three, obviously make sure one person has a Void Energy Weapon and one person has an Arc Energy Weapon. These are needed to take down enemy shields due to the challenge card modifiers we will be using. The third member of the fire team should go with a solar energy weapon. But the solar weapon isn't a must due to the burn you will use being solar. A couple of the subclasses should match that to an extent. A weapon which will seriously help out within this nightfall is a sleeper simulator too so make sure you use it if you have it guys. Okay, so challenge card setup, you solar burn, match game, extinguish and black out. Using these modifiers, your score multiplier goes up to 2.95 times, meaning you don't have to lower your level. And to be honest, doing this means you can run through most of the ads throughout the strike, not taking much damage at all. So with this challenge card in place, me and my hunter, I was running tether as generating orbs really helps out with the score. And tethering those ads, as we know, can be the difference in the final room. So if you have a hunter running with you, make sure they use Teva and if they've got the Orpheus rigs, use them too. Other subclasses should go with Solar Supers. Now because of the challenge card setup, like I said, most parts of this encounter can be skipped and run through, meaning you can get to the boss within about 8 minutes, meaning you have a good 7 or more minutes to finish her already having that 100k score. Now I suggest before starting up the Nightfall to go for this high score, go rally a flag to get that heavy, then start up the Nightfall, the first area, clear all these ads, then run through and past all the ads within the real Sylvia, these ads can be ignored. You will then come to the temple of whatever that says, a linen, lanen, lolen, linen, I ain't got a clue. This room can't be ignored, you will have to take out all the ads and the mini buses to progress. Here, just be careful, as you don't want to be dying because extinguish is on, meaning if the whole team dies at the same time, you will have to start the nightfall again. So after this temple room, clear out the ads and these stairs to progress. Then clear out the knights and shriekers on your way to the ramsacker ogres encounter. Here just kill the ogres, don't worry about the ads unless they get in your way. Eliminate those, but ignore the rest. Just kill the ogres, both standard and ascendant versions. Once these ogres are killed, run through ignoring the rest of the ads. The next set of ads you can kill. Tether again works wonders here people, just to gen them orbs, getting your teammates supers back. Then run through the remaining ads at the bottom of the staircase. Then going through the Ascendant Unknown space, coming to this area where you have to scale platforms, kill all enemies in your way, clearing off the platforms. Then this platform here with the wanted enemy on, take all these enemies out from afar. Then just run to the boss encounter. Hunters should be tethering the ads on the right within a boss area encounter, as soon as they spawn. 
as these ads need to be taken out, then grab the relic, pass it through a couple of players and throw it at the boss. Be ready with your sleeper simulant and wipe her out. You will mount her instantly people and you should easily hear clear that 100k score by doing this. If you somehow don't manage to get the 100k score and I don't know how you won't be getting it if you do this right, just run it again and kill a few more ads if needs be. So once the high score has been set, now the farming starts. Change your challenge card to literally just solar and heavyweight. Then just run the nightfall as usual. The start of the nightfall you can just kill the ogre, ignore all the enemies, just kill the ogre and run through past all the remaining enemies. You can literally then just run through all parts of this nightfall besides the temple of Leon, a lion, a lulin, whatever that is, and the ogre encounters. The rest you can run straight through. I mean we will get into the final boss sometimes within about 5 or 6 minutes and that's with us messing about also. But when you get to the boss, take out the ads as you do, throw the relic at the boss and use that sleeper to mount her. It is really that easy guys. Just run this, keep running it, keep running it until you get this hose list push rifle. Now believe it or not guys, my friend rerun really this four times after getting the high score. Within them four times, he got the push rifle three times. Seen on screen now the three different roles he has. No doubt stealing my luck. But this strat works people, it really does. It's an amazing farm. I suggest you guys try out to get this epic locking pulse rifle, the horrors at least. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos, like guides, top fives, gameplays, reviews, just about everything, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, people turn on notifications by hitting that bell button. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.